What's up South fans around the world and welcome back to another video. So I think it's time for a little update. I did a few things on the car last weekend which was planned to be on film but I just did it and it didn't turn out the exact way that I wanted so anyways here's a little update for you. So last weekend there was a few things that was about to happen. So I installed a new steering fluid reservoir because this was leaking from the start. And it has been... I got one sent to me from one of the followers. He was kind enough to post one. But I guess PostNord did their fair share of work and just left it somewhere because I didn't receive it so I had to order one at last but then I got it and I changed it and uh, I've had a small uh, water leak also close to the firewall but I did fill up the tank and the water isn't I think it's not streaming anywhere I think it's standing still so there must have been some kind of air bubble or lock or something or the thermostat doesn't open but anyways it doesn't leak so much so I thought screw it just take the car out and take it for a spin around the block and the first thing I noticed was that I didn't have any power steering so it was hard as hell to turn the car. So I managed to get, get the car out. I reversed it outside of the door, started to turn it. But then I got a little bit scared, got cold feet. So I drove into the garage again. And here the car has been standing. So it's waiting on something to happen. So what I did after I noticed that the power steering wasn't working. I detached the belt and I felt on the pump if like a bearing was gone or anything but it spins really nice and the reason for checking the the pump is when I first started the car it sucked in all the oil from the tank and it run, ran dry for a couple of seconds so it started to squeak but the next start when I had fill up the oil, it wasn't sounding bad anymore. And one other thing that gets me a little bit confused is when I started the car the first time, the steering wheel just started to spring like crazy. I don't know if it was like one lap or two laps or I don't know if it was even a full circle but it started to spin like crazy and then it stopped. So I guess that was from the oil filling into the steering rack. But I have in mind that there might be a problem there that I have mixed the lines. So I have the pressure line and the return line on the, the wrong sides. It shouldn't be possible because it's uh, different connections on each side. But I have made special connections for this car so I might have been screwing it up. And as you might know I have a steering rack from a right hand drive car and mine is a left hand drive. So I don't know if that mixes things up a little bit with the connections. So the idea for this video today is to jack the car up see if I could see if the lines are, are in the wrong place and get them in the correct place and try to start it and see if the uh, power steering works. Here you can see on a cut up steering rack on one side you must have the pressure because this is a bigger hole in to the steering rack and this has to be the return because here is a very much smaller. So 
here you can see it's a little bit dark but on this side is the pressure line and on the other side we have the return so I will set up the camera because there could be that it is a lot of air in the system and maybe that will do that it doesn't work as it should because a lot of air is trapped inside of it where it should be oil pushing it so I will move the steering wheel and we will see if it bubbles in the container You could definitely hear a lot of fluid being transferred and it bubbles in the container. That must mean that it sort of works. So I guess now it's time to start up the car and see if it's actually helping out and making the steering wheel a lot looser. And you could also hear that it's making some noises because the the steering rack has been emptied out completely of oil so it needs to be lubed up again and the second thing that i will touch upon is this solution the attachment of the steering rack this is actually not approved so this will not be road legal so i'm thinking of a different solution which I think will be a lot more a lot more better a lot better and a lot more solid so this is kind of a sketchy solution but th this is machined inside so it's a cone and I have a, a old head stud which is 12.9 uh, quality of the bolt and it goes straight through so it actually works and it's really solid but when you're going high speeds might be a little bit dangerous so we will do another solution that I will present a little bit later but the other solution that I have in mind will be a lot lot better than this one so we will see if the steering works so I have prepped the car for being able to take it outside you can see I have tack welded the frame in again so there is now no clamps holding it in place and I also added a rear muffler since I didn't have anything I don't know if you can see it right there it's actually a Saab muffler so it tones down the the noise quite a bit
it's actually quite a lot of resistance still so I don't think it really works so the issue then might be the pump that the pump isn't pushing out the, the oil into the steering rack because obviously the, 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 the fluid is moving but I don't know if you guys have any ideas what do you think do you think that the issue is the steering rack itself or do you think it's the, the steering power pump that's causing this issue that doesn't deliver oil to it I really don't know the issue with this is uh, the pump sits a little bit tricky I have to remove quite a lot of stuff but if I have to then I have to otherwise I think it sounds a little bit funky at some stages when you're turning the wheel but I guess it's because it doesn't have enough oil in it so it like it's not really scratching but you can hear now I'm turning the wheel and when you hear this noise this is like metal against rubber or metal against like a seal or something so I guess when this is lubed up it doesn't sound like this I don't know if you have any any ideas about an empty steering rack being filled how, how it behaves and and what the right procedure is to to fill it up and start it up uh, I have never been dealing with this before it has always worked when I have worked on steering racks or changing steering lines so time is moving incredibly fast right now and it's quite a process to get the car approved for road use so I will need your guys' help on this and how to solve it because I will solve a new arm that will do the steering of the hub so that will be a lot better but the steering rack itself need to be solved quite soon I think so I can get on with the process and everything I have applied for a, a discrepancy or, or what you should call it um, at the Swedish government that, that take care of road going cars so there is a law that you could apply for that you raises the limit before the, ra the limit for a rebuilt car is 15 kilowatts of power per, per 100 kilos weight of car and this car is like 1600 kilos or something like that and you could apply for a discrepancy that you get 20 kilowatts of power per 100 kilos of car so that's what I have applied for and if it gets approved then I get, can register the car with around 420 430 uh, horsepower and it will be fully legal with that power on, on the streets so that is what I'm aiming for and what I'm going for and all of this process just cost a ton of money to get it approved but I hope to get the car out and running so we could do a couple of tests on the road but right now the steering rack is, is stopping me from doing that but I thought it would, would be time at least to do a short little update so you know what's going on and if you have any suggestions, any ideas, please leave a comment down below. And uh, subscribe to the channel, it means a lot to me. I will see you in the next one. Bye.